it could be a new approach to deterring rhino poachers and smugglers. South African researchers are injecting small quantities of radioactive isotopes into rhino horns that would make the horns detectable. Despite a 30% decline in rhino poaching last year due to COVID restrictions, poachers still killed nearly 400 rhinos for their horns in South Africa. It will devalue the rhino horn in the eyes of the end user, the person who's kind of buying it in the Far East. Because if we make it radioactive, people are going to be less inclined to want to own something like that. Rhino horn is in demand in Asia because it's believed to have medicinal properties. Rhino poaching involves local poachers and international crime syndicates. It makes it a lot easier to track a horn if it's been taken from the animal and a smuggler is now trying to move it across international borders. Because there's something like between 10 and 11,000 installed radiation monitors at various different ports, airports, border crossings. Russia's nuclear agency Rosatom is funding the research. Tests over three months will see how the rhinos cope in terms of their behavior and health. If the study is successful, it could offer an alternative to the current practice of dehorning rhinos to prevent poaching.